How's everybody doing out there today? Tuesday already. Yeah. For some reason I think it's Monday, but it's actually Tuesday because yesterday was Labor Day, <laughs> 2021. So today's September 7th, 2021. Feels good out here, but these mosquitoes are eating my leg up, my, my legs up a little bit today. This morning, it's around 9 a.m. Eastern Time. So, I'm just getting on here and see how everybody's doing today. How's everybody Labor Day go? They had a fireworks celebration over here in the river Sunday night. And there really wasn't that many people there. I mean, there was there were thousands, but not normally. Normally, the place is packed. A lot of people didn't want to go because no mask and COVID. So, now they're concerned they'll spike the cases up even higher. You'll know here in a few days that the numbers are even higher for COVID cases. So, yeah. These schools act like it's no big deal. So, my kids was in contact with COVID, and they bring it home, and I have an autoimmune disorder. Okay? I have multiple sclerosis, and that's where your body attacked itself. Okay? And I had it since 2003. And it's a progressive. It's very progressive in men. So, it's more progressive in men than women. So, yeah, I have challenges. I fight it every day. I mean, my balance is off. I get double vision, blurred vision. Yep. Bowel problems. You know what I mean? Yeah. All kinds of symptoms. And my daughter goes to college, my oldest one, in person. And she got a, got a message like uh, 10 days ago, or 12 days ago, saying that she had a, was in contact with somebody with COVID. So they tested her last week they waited like four or five days to test her and it came back positive but she don't have any symptoms you know she's 20 years old she's young but with me getting it it'd be a different story so these schools you know they don't want to go virtual they're in person they said kids learn better in class so that's how that is but they're on their way now to, to test me they come to my house and uh and they put the thing up the nose and they spin it. This is not a rapid test. It's a normal, regular test, but it's not a rapid test. But they said on the phone today, it would take seven to ten days for the results because they're so overwhelmed with new COVID cases. Yeah, see, a lot of people thought when the vaccines came out, it was all over with. The pandemic's over, but it's not. The vaccines are actually wearing off sooner than they thought they were. So people are getting reinfected. I think they said 90 days the vaccine wears off and it's completely out of your system. So basically you have to get booster shots every 90 days or whatever, whatever they come up with. I don't know what they're going to do, but they're wearing off sooner than they thought. They thought the vaccine will last six months, the vaccines, depending on what you get. So, yeah. So 90 days wears off. So let, you know, it's not effective anymore. So, there you go. So, like I watch what I say because YouTube would tell me all this information is all misleading. And they and you all get an email saying, we think it's misleading. Misleading information. We think. It don't say it is. It says, we think it is. I don't know. I think it's just a robot watching these videos and they're just messing with me all the time. I'm just tired of it. So, I don't know. So, you guys have a lovely day today, okay? Just comment down below. Let me know how you guys are doing out there. That's why I got a mask on, you know. My head's stuffy. You know, when they do that nose thing, for the COVID test, my nose will be running for about a day. Or a few hours, it all depends. It, you know, the, the nose will run for a while. But it's no big deal. Everybody think it hurts. It actually tickles. They do it pretty quick. It's not like it takes three minutes. They just put it in there and they spin it around for a few seconds and done you know but yeah it's not over everybody so stay safe out there wear a mask i'm telling you i mean i know people say it doesn't help but blah 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 but you know that's why i stay in then people come to my house then people that tested my nurse and doctors they do tests here they brought x-ray machines here a week ago or 10 days ago and did x-rays echocardiogram Okay, blood work, take blood work here, urine work, x-rays, echocardiogram, EKGs, they do it all. Yep, they do EKGs on me because that multiple sclerosis messes with your heart. Signals, okay, signals. Your central nervous system controls your whole body. If there's damage up there, 
something gets interrupted where you can't walk, you can't see, and your heart rate goes blur, goes ballistic. Starts going real high. And when they say, well, how you know it gets real high? If your heart rate is 250 beats per minute, you tell me you're not going to feel it? <laughs> they want it between 60 and 100, not 250. Of course you're going to feel it. What kind of stupid question was that? I mean, that's what I get for these nurses at the hospital. Yeah. They don't have doctors at the hospitals anymore. It's all like 99% of them are nurses. So that's the problem. You know, a lot of them are young and don't know much. So uh, you just got to watch what hospital you go to. You know, I mean, some of these hospitals, they don't have a cardiologist there, a neurologist there. All they got is nurses. So if you go in there with any kind of serious problem, more than likely you'll probably die there. So that's a big problem also. They're just not equipped to handle a, a situation like that. You know, you have to go to a trauma hospital, really, because they're all equipped for that. Some of these hospitals are not trauma. They're like a, it's like an urgent care or band-aid hospital. They put a band-aid on you and you leave or say it's anxiety and get you out the door. So I know they were blaming everything on anxiety about seven, eight months ago just to get you out of there. I can understand the hospitals are like over, the emergency rooms are way bombarded. They wanted people out of there. So they blame everything on anxiety just to get you out of there. So when I walked in there with a high pulse rate and very high pulse rate and very high blood pressure, they said it was anxiety and they didn't treat it just to get me out of there. Yeah, I mean, it was high. I mean, they didn't treat it. I'm like, what? My doctor was like, they didn't treat it? Because you need to go to another hospital if you have cases like that. You need to go to another hospital. What, go 20 miles out of the way? That's crazy. Yeah. Because I walked in there on a... November, no, Halloween, I think it was Halloween, this past Halloween, my pulse rate was like 169, it wouldn't go down, and I wasn't doing anything, a lot of people said, you must have been running, I said, no, I wasn't doing anything, it just got up, actually, it started moving around, and it was like that, I was getting very dizzy, it wouldn't go down, so, doctor said, go to the emergency room, so I went to the emergency room, they pull my blood work every three hours, check for heart enzymes. So the heart enzymes came back fine. They checked my thyroid levels and all that other stuff too. Potassium and all that magnesium and all that blood work. It took it like three times. Doctor come in and said, yeah, I'm not going to give you any, any medicine for that high pulse rate. You see, a, you see a cardiologist here in about 14 days. We'll let him decide. So I got home and called my doctor back on calls because it's a weekend. They have an on-call doctor, told her what happened. She said, they didn't treat it there. I said, nope, it was a waste of time. Like I said, a waste of time going over there. So she called me in a beta blocker. And it didn't work overnight. Like people think you pop a pill and it works instantly. Nope. It took four weeks for that beta, four to six weeks for that beta blocker to work. But it's working great now, but I still have episodes once in a while. So, thank God. You know it's bad when it starts messing with your heart. And they say it's anxiety. That's bad. I mean, it is. I mean, wow. Your heart problem. And if, I, if it's anxiety, why am I taking heart medicine? Why am I taking a beta blocker? Why am I taking a blood pressure medicine for anxiety? Does it make sense? It doesn't. I'm not taking anxiety medicine. I'm taking heart medicine. Like blood pressure and a beta blocker slows down the heart rate. When the cardiologist saw me, he was listening to my heart. He said, your heart's going crazy. I said, yeah, I'm just sitting in a chair. And it's going real fast. That's a, mul that's a multiple sclerosis symptom. So he said it was a dysfunction, an automatic dis dysfunction of MS. So it kind of controls everything, your central nervous system. If there's damage somewhere, a lesion or scars, it delays signals in that area. So your heart could go crazy. Okay? Yeah. Some people have seizures with MS. It's, it's no joke. You know, a lot of people don't even know what it is. It's, it's one of the things you don't get it till you got it. You know what I mean? That's why I'm an MS support group on Facebook is they people have it so they know what you go through you're not talking to somebody that don't have it and they think it's all okay whatever you know they're like I don't know what it is a lot of people thought it was muscular dystrophy Jerry's kids I'm like whatever it just tells you you know or you have a nurse come to your house and says oh you look fine you look fine you look fine and they walk out the door so you're not gonna check my vitals you just come here to say I look fine and walking out the door I supposed to have some kind of message written on my face. What's wrong with me? She said it looked fine, but when I saw her, I saw two of her because I had double vision that day. Invisible illness. That's what I'm saying. It's just crazy. 
But yeah, I'm, I've been on here for over 10 minutes and it's beeping. So you guys have a lovely day. Feels good out here, but mosquitoes out here are going crazy on me today. It feels good out here. So yeah, you guys have a lovely day now. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Comment down below. Bye now.